Hey, I'm Mark Stevens, author of Government Indicted. My website is markstevens.net. I host a radio show called The No State Project, and we're live four hours a week, one on Wednesday and three on Saturday. You can check out markstevens.net for the times and the call-in. And contrary to a few people, dissent is always welcome on the No State Project. We have a ton of evidence to support my position that there are no states, there are no citizens, and that uh, these magical thing, rules called laws uh, apply to anybody. I have interviews with a Supreme Court Chief Justice. Uh, well, not so much an interview, but I do have uh, confrontations with many, many bureaucrats of many stripes. None of them able to present any evidence. Uh, but if you think otherwise, if you think there are citizens, if you think there are states, if you think there are governments, and you think that their rules, call laws, apply to us just because of our physical location, you're more than welcome to call into a live broadcast and present your proof and your, your, your logic. Show where my evidence is incorrect and my logic is flawed. So contrary to what some may say, you can call into a live broadcast. That's welcome. I'm willing and I have more evidence on the website than I'm willing to even do, to even torture myself by going through a two hour plus conversation with somebody uh, who is completely illogical. But I'm willing to still do that with others who think that they have a claim or that, that they have a valid dissent against my work. And also, just to set the record straight, I am willing to participate in not only in a live broadcast, but you have to set it up. If you can set up another live broadcast, you have to set it up, let me know, and then I'll participate in that. I've got no problem with it. But I am not going to listen to your pissing and whining and complaining after or during such a broadcast that somehow there's something between me and the other host. You have to do it on your own. Let me know the date and time, and I will participate on another live broadcast so you have an opportunity, if you set it up, to confront me in real time. If you think I'm a scammer, you think I'm a snake oil salesman, you have more than, as long as you set it up, you'll have a real opportunity to debunk me once and for all publicly, and I can't control any of it. The other thing, too, is if you want it, uh, that someone is falsely uh, accusing me of is being afraid of doing an open de live debate on my, I don't know if it's necessarily a debate or it's a discussion or a debunking of my material, I'm more than happy to do that. You have to set it up, though. I am not going to go out of my way to set up an open debate with a moderator and a small audience just so that you can piss, whine, and complain after you make a fool of yourself. Okay, that I somehow manipulated the audience. If you want to set up a live debate or discussion with an audience and a moderator of your choosing, that's fantastic. You have to do it. And just let me know. So, one of the things that you would be having to prove, if you're going to prove that there are citizens, states, and governments, and that their laws, their rules apply to anybody, you have to prove that there are citizens. And the Supreme Court has ruled many, many times that a citizen, this is Loria versus the United States, maybe I'll link it in the description below, but I'm not going to put it in the video. Um, Loria versus the United States, a citizen is a member of the body politic owing a duty of allegiance in return for a duty of protection. That these are reciprocal obligations, one a consideration for the other. So you have to show evidence that those reciprocal obligations actually are real, that they exist, that they were created. Then you can show that there is a body politic which makes up the state and therefore there would be a government and not just men and women forcing us to pay them because that really is all that we have until you show that evidence to the contrary. And you'd also have to show proof that there rules called constitutions and laws and ordinances apply to me and other people just because of our physical location. Just because I'm in physically in Arizona, some written instrument from 1910 all applies to me. Show the evidence, show the logic, and yeah, saying that there's a prison system, that is not evidence, and neither is giving a legal citation. Legal citations are not evidence. So, that's some of the things that you're going to have to provide. So if you want to come on a live broadcast, great. We're live four hours a week. If you want to do a recording, I'm happy to do that. And if you want to set up a live debate where you have the opportunity to debunk me in real time in front of an audience of your choosing, I'm happy to participate in that also. Why am I confident? Because I have all the evidence and logic on my side. And that's why a law professor in Canada admitted the obvious 
The applicability of the laws is not based on evidence or logic. It is a blunt assertion of power, which is another way of saying they're a bunch of damn crooks. And that's why even a Supreme Court Chief Justice had to resort to saying that the evidence proving that their rules apply to me because I'm physically in Arizona is because they prosecuted other people. It's not going to wash. But I welcome the opportunity to meet you on a live broadcast or uh, a, an open debate that you can get set up. My, again, my name is Mark Stevens. The website is markstevens.net. If you think you can debunk my work, if you think you can discredit me, if you think you can show a flaw in the logic and that I have my evidence incorrect, I'm more than happy to address that. Uh, again, the website is markstevens.net.